We're back again with the setup of this HP LaserJet 1022 printer here at the studio room desk. We built a shelf in the wall for the printer to sit on. Now we need to plug it in and connect it to the computer. I know I have more of those right angle power cords. I could not locate it at this time, but I did find this nice short power cable, so we'll use this one for now. And then I also located a USB cord. So let's turn this around and make some connections here. The USB is right here. Um, I guess we'll route the cord behind the, the wall here. So the printer is going to have to stick out about probably two inches to give this power cable good clearance, which I'm not going to like the way that looks. So we'll I'll find I'll find those other cords eventually and I'll switch it out. But at least now we'll get this operational. Yeah, that's about as far as we can push it back for now. If I had the right angle power cord, it could go back at least another inch. Uh, which makes a difference when you're working in these tight quarters. Geez, even this short cord is a bit too long. Okay, there's our power and now our data. This cord must have been coiled up for a long time. It's very it's got a lot of memory to it. All right, where's the USB on this computer? This is kind of wonky because it's you know, all in one computer. There's only two USB ports over there. Do we have a third somewhere in the back? Mm, I don't think that we do. We've only got the two in the back. Well, that kind of stinks. Yeah, that's all I see is just the two in the back. I've got two on the side here we can use, but it's not going to look as clean as if the ports are in the back. But at least it'll work. Uh, I'll just plug this back in then. I did all that for nothing. There is a USB port on this side as well. So I'll have to see which side it looks. It looks better to have it coming out of. Probably not this side because it's right where the telephone is. So we'll put it over here on the right. Sawdust everywhere. This is so this was such a messy project. I wonder if I can get a right angle USB cord. I need to look into that.
Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I think I can live with that. I'll just put that cordless phone in front of it. All right. Now, admittedly, I've never used this printer, so I don't even know if it works. But if it doesn't work, I'm not too concerned about it because I know that I have other ones of the same model, or at least of the same size. So if it ends up not working, I'll just swap it for a different one. I gotta go upstairs to grab some paper, and then we'll be back. It just occurred to me that it kind of works out better to... Oh, man! It kind of works out better to have it with the USB connection accessible anyways, because then if I... Uh, if I was working on a laptop and I want to print something from a laptop, then I can just plug it into the laptop because this printer doesn't have uh, it does not have network uh, capabilities to it I could in theory put it on a little USB print server but I don't think that's necessary okay I am not going to accept this because I don't agree with it so we're going to go here and we're going to cut that off um, I don't think that this cord's going to work so we'll ignore that. All right. So let's put the paper into this printer and we'll see if we can just use, uh, oh, you know what, the time is all messed up on this. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a reboot. Now that we've fixed the time. Yeah, the Spotify, unfortunately, is operating very inconsistently now. I can't quite tell what the pattern is. It seems like certain chips it doesn't like. It's not Windows 7 as a whole, because I have several Windows 7 machines it's still running on, but some of them it does not work on. This is kind of stupid. Okay. Let's turn it on. The switch is really convenient. I don't like that knocking sound on there, but... For the printers that work to make much worse sounds than that. I really like this keyboard. You know, for a basic run of the mill keyboard that's shipped with millions and millions of computers, I think it's a great keyboard. All right, let's see what we got here. What's this doing? Is the plug and pray gonna add it? We gotta turn that off. That's annoying. We're gonna take Spotify out, we're gonna take that out, we're gonna take Discord out, take AOL out, we don't need any of that stuff coming up with the computer. Okay. Software is installing for this device. Hmm. Searching Windows Update. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. So I think we're just going to wait it out and let's see if it works. If this window doesn't get it, if I run Windows updates, it might come in through... Oh, it got it. Cool. Nice. That was easy. That's the default printer.
Well, that was super easy. Looks like it's printing really nicely, too. Oh, I gotta rename this. It still says kitchen computer. Um, wonder if we can get any information about, like, the number of pages and stuff. Sometimes if you hold one of these buttons, it'll print out, like, a configuration page. I like printers so much, I think they're really cool. Alright, total pages printed 31,319. Um, it doesn't say what the toner cartilage life is. Something like this is so old, it probably won't care. It'll just keep printing until it's flat empty. Well, I'm quite happy with that. Excellent. Easy install. Good, now I can go to sleep, and this is working properly.